dynamics in the sector, the murky nature of how, you know, the dealings, what goes on in the sector, sometimes will leave you very, very depressing. The corner people are not deriving anything from the diamonds that are being mined from their lands. See, snake has a head. If you cut the head off, the rest is rope. Unlike some countries in southern Africa, where diamond extraction is associated with the mechanical mining of deep reserves, diamond resources in Sierra Leone are more commonly dispersed in the gravels of riverbeds and terraces, are located close to the surface, and are easily accessible to diggers with little more than shovels, sieves, and a source of water for straining the gravel. The informal and unregulated nature of the artisanal mining sector has meant that many diamond diggers have also become adversely incorporated into exploitative relationships with buyers and middlemen, becoming trapped in cycles of borrowing and indebtedness. Everybody is doing business to, to make profit, to maximize profit. So the supporters, they need to maximize profit. The dealers also, they want to maximize profit. The exporters, they want to maximize profit. So what do you do if you want to maximize profit? It's to suppress those that are below so that you can get more money. This highly unequal relationship between diggers and supporters has been the focus of much international attention, with many commentators voicing concern for the detrimental social impacts of artisanal diamond mining, likening it to a system of debt bondage and a contemporary form of slavery. Plagued by institutional inefficiencies, corruption and revenue mismanagement, only a small percentage of the country's population has fully benefited from its diamond wealth. Guinea, then they build fine hosts. Naya, Konoya. Eh, Maraca country, then they build fine hosts. Now Konoya, all the endaimo, yeah, they come out. They're not the sole government, so not the sole. But the one the way they sow, the quality way, when a government diamond. And the dealers, most of them, the foreign nationals, they never stay here, they don't get the benefit from the diamond. They will go build elsewhere, or they are out of the country, so I remain poor. There is no money if I could say, in the hands of my parents, so I decided to come and do a short mining so that I can take myself back to school. We will defend us, so we will not save the value of diamond. Diamond will value for $20,000, we will go say we will give $10 million. So now they, they look back, you see how they give $2 million. So we will not know the odds of uh, the, the diamond. I was now now with support, I will not get no self for go logic complain. Because when you go lodge complaint to chief, I know to chief they support you. They, they actually they say, wait, they they support you. You go come on, you go bribe, and you don't get money. So that in case they, they know they take a grant. They say, be an a boss man. When all they so pass, I'll be out with my family that I talk to her. Whether you're a foreigner or you're a Sierra Leonean or this, if you're lucky, you're protected. Because I said before, even in money, there's politics. That I can tell you, in fairness to myself and to our people. And some people are more protected than others, that's what I'm saying. <laughs>